Well, that was generalization. Even trickier than generalization is figuring out how to implement associations. OO programming languages do not directly support associations, so the OO design process must choose the best means of implementing these associations. Some of the factors you have to take into account, first off, is directionality. What this means is if your program is going to need to um, interact with several classes, is the direction of that interaction always in one particular way, first A and then B, or might you go in either way? Second is cardinality. That is, for a particular instance of one class, are there multiple instances in another class? And third is the kind of access you're making to classes. Sometimes these are called the CRUD properties, where C stands for create, that is, are you going to create instances? R is for read, that means are you just going to query or access the, the instances? U is for update, that is, could you change the instances? And D is for delete. Depending on uh, which of these particular kinds of accesses and how frequently they occur, it might, uh, particularly in the performance area, affect how you choose to implement them. And finally, as far as invariant maintenance is concerned, okay, associations often have invariants associated with them, like referential integrity constraints, and it's up to you as the designer and programmer to build your program in such a way that these invariants are maintained.